that you guide our prayer and uh, that you just take control and uh, guide this whole entire thing. We thank you, Lord Jesus, that, that it is enough, that it is enough, and that uh, your grace is more than sufficient. Thank you, Jesus. So, Freedom One, HearingGod.tv, and this week's intercession. Um, well, I didn't actually have a lot of prayers this week, um, but I will share you um, with you the first one I got for the week. Uh, the Lord showed up, showed me something in a dream again, and basically, it's uh, uh, it was like like one of those late night talk shows, and it was almost like I the there was this woman sitting there, and she was on the show. And it was almost like, you know how, like, um, beauty people take care of, you know, like, when they're in between commercials, somebody's over always, you know, helping or whatever. And it was like I was helping this person out. And it's like I was there, but not really seen. And so, it was a female vocalist. And... You know, I remember she had dark hair, and she had this beautiful, raspy kind of voice. And um, and it's so funny because so many people have been, you know, I wrote this a few days ago. And I, I, my comment that I wanted to share with you was, so I only do what I see my father doing. Whoever you are, I will pray for you. Everybody's been giving me that only do what you see your father doing kind of quote here lately, but, I, yeah, I don't know who this um, female vocalist is, um, or whatever, but we'll pray for her. So, Lord Jesus, uh, you know who this person is, and um, you don't show us stuff for nothing. Everything that you do is perfect timing, is awesome, and addresses what people need and what their hearts cry out for. So, whoever this person is, Lord Jesus, we just lift her up to you. We lift her up to you, and we let her know that she is special in the sight of God, and that God desires her for his own, that he, he designed her for special purpose. Whoever you are out there, the Lord created that beautiful, raspy voice. Yes. And he longs that you would just come to know him. And this whole lifetime that we have is, is, a, is a ground for getting to know him who is on the other side of eternity. And he wants you. He wants you in all of eternity. And your heart has been crying out, else he wouldn't show, show me this dream. So... I just agree with the Holy Father on your behalf. And Father God and I and everyone joining here, we just bless you. We bless you. And we praise Father God for you. And we do ask that you would go deeper, as he so desires. That it's more than a show, it's more than this glorious talent, but he made you for himself. And so we just offer you up to him. And we just ask for a receptive heart on your part, that you would indeed um, this day give Jesus a chance give him a chance because he so cares for you thank you Jesus 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 thank
Thank you, Jesus. Bambara tu tere prepara so pene bakira bambara tu. Oh, freezing. So, cool. Let the Lord lead it. Brun bakira bakara pa sambara tu pere shibara bakara bambara bakira bakira. Oh, hi, Dylan. Brun bakira bakara bambara sambara bakara bakara. All right. Oh. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm really, I'm really so cold. <laughs> oh, I, I'm not a cold person. Uh. <clears throat> All right. I also like to pray uh, for Build the Farm's son, who had another asthma attack this week. I don't know what's going on with that, but uh, we're looking to God's perfection and all that He has. And we don't want asthma, and it's not welcome in that household of faith. Jesus, we invite you in that child's lungs. Oh, great comforter, Holy Spirit, we invite you in to work your surgery and to make all things new. We thank you, Lord Jesus, for what your purchase price has done for us, has given us that claim that, in, that we have power in your name. And so we cling to that and we look. We look into that child's chest for the healing. Whatever is in there causing this. And we don't care if there's a spiritual inheritance problems or whatever it is. Jesus, we place it on you. And we thank you, Jesus. We agree and we align with your word. That you healed them all. And so we proclaim healing over his lungs. We breathe in your truth. And we breathe it in for him. Praise you, Jesus. Praise you, Lord. Let a rip on your prayer request, Sean. <coughs> Just let it rip. Uh, whether you want to email it or put it in the box, do your prayer request and I'll, I'll get to it. <laughs> Um, Mr. Truth, um, I'd like to agree with him for, um, you know, he's been under a lot of attack and everything, um, and the enemy likes to intimidate, so I guess that's where we can start first, is that intimidation. We bind up intimidation from Mr. Truth in the mighty name of Jesus. For that which seeks to kill, steal, and destroy, is not wel welcome for people of God with destiny. And I thank you for his destiny is great in you, O Lord Jesus. We command intimidation to go to the footstool of Jesus Christ for judgment. He is above and never beneath. I thank you, Jesus. I thank you, Jesus, for the calling that you have on his life and that you will usher it forth. And as well as with this, Lord Jesus, there is intimidation. But any confusion, we bind up in the mighty name of Jesus. We declare no confusion in Jesus' mighty name. And we thank you, Jesus, for purpose. 
and for direction. That your Holy Spirit make it abundantly clear on the way that he should go and that he walk in it. I thank and praise you, Lord Jesus. Bless my brother. I thank you, Jesus. Send forth your angels to surround him and protect him when the accuser comes. May every chink in his armor be filled by your mighty spirit, Lord Jesus. We speak life into him and strength. Thank you, Jesus. Okay. Sean, you have a head injury, or is it um, more like a, a long-term kind of uh, ongoing kind of thing? I'll ask, and you, and you can answer when you can. Is the connection kind of bad today, I'm wondering? Okay, long term. Because I think when I set this up, it was... Okay, it is on low. Alright, well, it should be okay. Alright. All right, Lord Jesus, I just ask you, to lift up my brother Sean. I thank you, Lord Jesus. I thank and praise you, Lord Jesus. It, nothing, nothing is impossible with you, Almighty God. Thank you, Lord Jesus, as we are feeling, feeling your infilling right now. Mimin and took it back up on your most holy presence. Bishikoni bakana pouring out as rivers. Bremi shiko nebera tukunya bakara boru se betin tire tukuna bakabara apasaba. Brum bakere beka. I see Sean's head as you see it. Perfectly functioning. Mimin tin tuntul sukana bakana bayi tuntare tebera suntara bla bakanebe. I thank you, Lord Jesus, that you satisfy the hungry heart. You fill us up with what is good, and we ask for good things. You don't turn us away, but you delight if we would only ask. And so we ask, Lord Jesus, with faith and trust in you, Lord Jesus. We call on your healing power, Lord Jesus, to completely make Sean's head make it whole. In Jesus' mighty name, Lord God, send forth your power, your power, Lord Jesus. Even now, even today, Lord Jesus, we cling to your garment, Lord Jesus. We cling with faith and believe. And everybody said, said when he says, who touched me? Everybody says, I did. <laughs> Okay, someone told me I have this head problem to bring my soul down. My soul was so strong, he said, or he told me. So it's a word curse, maybe. Oh, to bring your soul down as in, like, uh, to keep you humble. They're trying to do that whole... Um, thorn in the flesh kind of thing. Is that what that's about? I'm just trying to understand. It just helps better to pray to know more what what you're trying to say. 
so if you can if you can help me <laughs> on that let me know um it's okay Dylan <laughs> um yeah oh okay and just so anyone watching the show knows um it's um like I was too much thinking on my own trying to be righteous from my own efforts like a Pharisee so it's kind of like a you know God's trying to keep you humble and and you know the whole thorn in the flesh kind of thing so yeah um we break any word curses as such right now in the mighty name of Jesus. Any wounding from such curses we also break in the mighty name of Jesus. We command you to go to the foot soul of Jesus Christ for judgment. You have no place here. No place here. And what do we do with a wound? We bandage it. So we just call on the mighty name of Jesus. For we don't know everything, Lord Jesus. There is so much we don't know. But we know we trust in you. We trust in you. We cling to your garment, Lord Jesus, because you have the words of eternal life. And your words are as such. Take up your mat and walk. Be healed. Go and sin no more. All these things are our inheritance as well. And so we cling to them. We cling to them, and we thank you, Lord Jesus. We thank you, Lord God. We cast down any words of, like, Phariseeum. That's not who the Lord says we are. We are his beloved. We are his beloved. And how many people he walked among and healed them. It didn't even really have a chance to know him like we know him today. How the awesome time that we've spent our whole lives learning and knowing God and him, his presence and his word filling us up how much more how much more does he want to heal us thank you Jesus so Lord God we just agree that all those wounds be filled with your words of truth that we are heirs to every promise including healing Lord Jesus because you say to speak life to choose life that we might live and we not only choose that but we choose abundant life so Lord Jesus we thank and praise you we speak abundant life over Sean. That everything function properly. With clarity. He is above only and never beneath. Thank you, Jesus. She Papa Sukuni Baka. Praise you, Jesus. Okay. Ibaron Dare Bakere Bakura Sibere Tikike. 
check my messages and stuff here. <laughs> All right. Praise you, Jesus. Bring my to Kenny back in the back of the back of the back of the back of back of the back of the back of the back She's been having some rough times uh, with her husband due to some past mistakes. And, you know, she's repented and she is sorrowful, has asked forgiveness. Um, but you know that you can, f you can feel um, if someone's really forgiven you or not. So, um... You know, he's aware of those past mistakes and, you know, he has every right to be hurt and angry about it. Um, but every penny must be paid for. Um, yes, the forgiveness needs to be manifested in a visible way, in, in every way. So, um... You know, she would she would like prayer um, that um, these destructive emotions that he's feeling right now that he would indeed take them to the cross. We agree with Stephanie for restoration on her marriage. We ask Lord Jesus that you would take the pain away for her husband. And as she lives out being a Proverbs 31 woman, that he would take note of her love and her sorrow. And I also ask Lord Jesus that you would heal her, that you would heal her heart. And thank you, Lord Jesus, that she is wonderful and beautiful in your sight. Thank you, Lord Jesus, for forgiving her and help her as she walks through to live for you and that, that living for you will translate and show that love for her husband and that he can see how important it is to truly forgive. Eben Piera Tokanebera Tukuni Baka. We ask Lord Jesus that you would just fill him up with your with your love. Gingin it began a bold of bottle sunte Iblamara Tokine Bakana Baka de Bekida Baka. We ask that you would restore their marriage and that you would heal. Help them, Lord. Help them, Lord. Because the big picture is that the enemy is really trying to destroy family units. Because it's just the, the picture of the marriage that's coming. And so we ask Lord Jesus that you would bless this household. Bless them, Lord Jesus. Bless them, Lord Jesus. Give them the big picture that this is nothing, nothing in comparison. Nothing in comparison. And how the enemy, the true revelation of what the enemy desires to do to destroy them from the inside out.
It's so much easier when you see the big picture, when you can see the enemy's map rolled out, when you can see that picture that he's drawn of you, and he's drawn and quartered you, okay? So, very, <laughs> we agree. We agree. Bless them, Jesus. Okay. What's next? Alright. Uh, we continue to press in for James. Uh, ha the, I want to say doesn't have organic brain dysfunction anymore. I don't want to recognize it as such. Um, what I can tell you last week is when I was praying, I was um, really focusing on seeing that new brain in there because we were believing for for new functioning brain. So um, I'm going to continue to do that and believe for it because it's nothing for God. It's nothing. So we just enter in here, Lord Jesus. Mi sati ton tarebe aro to horas and then anamada bacanabe. Brebere shepere sinta. Amen. Amen. We disfellowship the enemy from you in the mighty name of Jesus. Sikana kodi pantora bacnipera sonkinapa. You who attack, mimera take we disarm you in the mighty name of Jesus. We declare your hands off in the mighty name of Jesus. And we thank you, Lord Jesus. We thank you, Lord Jesus. For that new brain, perfectly functioning, wonderful new brain for James. Untainted, untouched. For your Holy Spirit guards it. You guard that myelin sheath. We thank you, Lord Jesus. Indeed, your truth is planted. Your truth is planted within James. Indeed it grows. We agree for a completely new brain in the mighty name of Jesus. Give his body the refreshing that he needs, Lord Jesus. Because with this new brain, the rest of the body has been racked all this time. And so we just call forth that refreshing. That refreshing, Lord Jesus. Even all new circuitry to go with it. Yahaya kaniya tante. Zebe kanaba kanebe. Yes, Jesus. Just bless him. Thank you for his faith, Lord Jesus, and his trust in you. Bless him, Lord Jesus. Honor him, Lord Jesus. Make all things go well for him, Lord Jesus. 
she papa why bambara talking about god thank you jesus you make it all easy you make it all easy you take that all upon yourself lord jesus and james isn't going to take it back <laughs> Thank you, Jesus. Alright, and also last week we prayed for Jason's heart. Uh, suffering from Wolf Parkinson's White Syndrome. And it's interesting because it's, you know, similar with the organic brain dysfunction. It's kind of the same thing, but with the heart. It just kind of like this, you know, the circuitry fires off in different ways it's not supposed to. And so, causes problems. So, We look inside Jason's chest cavity. We look inside, and we declare a new heart for him as well. And we do plead on your precious blood, Lord Jesus, your life-giving blood. As this co-laborer with you, Lord Jesus. He pumps your blood, Lord Jesus. We look to you, Lord God, we speak life. We speak life. For every connecting thing to his new heart. Your resurrection life, Lord Jesus. I thank you, Lord Jesus, that Jason is wonderful. I thank you, Lord. He is truly wonderful. Bind up any uh, spirits that assault with low self-esteem. Poor self-worth. Bind you in the name of Jesus. You have no place here. This is the, the child's of the king. We bind you and command you to go to the footstool of Jesus Christ for judgment. For he is a mighty warrior. Equipped in every way. With wonderful giftings and talents. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Blossom your servant. Bless him and encourage him. With confidence, joy, and peace. And a purpose. Thank you, Lord Jesus. That he has an abundant heart, abundant soul. We seal this in your precious name, Lord Jesus. Amen. All right. So, yeah, if anybody got some more prayers, how about you, Andy? Do you have some specific ones? Um, you know, obviously for family, huh? Um, so I'll just, if, if you have other ones to add more specific, but I will just pray for family. And but it be so can I pray for your whole entire family and all that you've endured lately. Maybe she could for the peace of God to just flood over. And for his love to fill all those voids. She Thank you for your gentleness. Your gentle way, Lord Jesus. Thank you that that comes out of your servant. Thank you. 
thank you for exuding that from Andy. That gentle, quiet spirit. Thank you, Jesus, for that peace. We just ask that you would bless um, uh, David's family, uh, dearly departed David, um, his family, and all, in all their needs, Lord Jesus. We declare they be made met by your, your precious spirit, Lord Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Okay, Andy has a prayer for Anne, whose shoulder is frozen and has knee pains, and she's going to get testing. Alright. Frozen shoulder and knee pain. We just speak life into that shoulder in the mighty name of Jesus. And anything attached with that, that it be, mama, let go. Let go. Let go and let God take care of it. Jesus will handle it. What is that scripture? Why are you in distress, O oh my soul? Hope in God. You speak blessing on her soul. Hope into her soul for all she needs. And we agree for an unfrozen shoulder. For complete mobility. Thank you, Jesus, who heals within and will heal all throughout as well. We speak joy and blessing into her joints. We speak joy and peace and blessing into that knee. Me, we command you to be restored by the mighty name of Jesus. We speak life into you. shoulder, we speak life into you. Abundant life into you. Glorious life into you. Hey, Jay, you have any prayer requests? 
I mean, we already did kind of pray for you. I guess I don't think you were there then. <laughs> so you have to go back and watch the program. Um, but if you got any prayer requests, let them rip. And I thought I would tell you guys, um, uh, to make it easier on myself, um, I'm going to... I'm going to post these on the Freedoms01 YouTube, and then I am going to, um, the attribution, I'm going to leave the attribution open. Uh, so, you, I don't know if you've ever seen where, you know, it says common YouTube attribution or creative commons or something like that. Well, I'm going to leave it open so people can mix them. So, if people would want to take tidbits you know how I do the little tidbits and because who wants to watch an hour-long program if anybody would well would like to play and make tidbits and just post them uh, if you think that that would be a, a thing that would help um, and, and get the word out if if you find like little bits of teaching or whatever that really kind of struck you and that you feel it needs multiplied then feel free to do one of those mix things and figure out how to do it. It'd be under video editor or you click under... I, I, I don't think I've ever done one, but I know it can be done, so feel free to play with it if you're so led, because um, that'll free me up, um, because I'm not going to... <laughs> I'm not going to overdo it. <laughs> so, okay. Pray for your dad's back. He has a disc. Is it degenerative or defective or bulged or... I don't know what... Degenerative. Okay, thank you. I don't know what degative thing... <laughs> That's cute. Okay. Degenerative disc. Okay. All right, we just extend our hand over um, Jason's father's back. And again, we just speak your abundant life, your life into it. Into his back from the very base of the skull all the way down all the way down we speak life and I just ask Lord Jesus that you would in indeed regenerate the coating the cushions around those discs thicken them we speak growth to them in the mighty name of Jesus. We call forth that coding. And that, that insulation for each disc to grow in the mighty name of Jesus. Even like that foam, that foam spray stuff. We speak uh, to a straightening of his spine. We ask that you would straighten that spine out, Jesus. And we speak to the pain. In the mighty name of Jesus, we bind you pain. You have no place here. We command you to go to the footstool of Jesus Christ for judgment. We speak healing. We speak healing. We speak your precious blood. Your abundant blood full of oxygen to surround and 
all those areas that are in healing motion right now in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. Amen. Kingdom, life, and restoration alignment. Good one. Hi, Jacqueline. Do you have a prayer request? I was just getting around to ask. And if anybody um, uh, wants to email, if you do so soon, because I don't have a lot of prayer requests this week, um, you're welcome. I want to hear some testimonies. So keep us posted. Okay, we will wait for you to type it up. And I do want to ask, um, you know, it's kind of one-sided here. You know, I kind of facilitate the prayer or whatever. So um, I would just ask that you guys would just pray for me. Um, I did that video and I talked about changing my view of things. Um, and so, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm changing the way I'm thinking. I'm just, I'm just going to trust in the Lord more. So I just ask for your agreement um, that I just continue to surrender and to let the Lord do it, and, um, and, <laughs> yeah, so, do keep me in your prayers, okay, okay, uh, Jack, Jackie says, I do want to to continue to pray for me and my family. You got a word last time on worship, and it was a right on time word for my life. The Lord said, Just worship me. Okay. And you were struggling. Okay. See, that's a word for me, too. It is. Just just to be, not to, to think too much, you know? Not to think too much, just to cling, cling to his truth and not look for warm fuzzies and not look for shoulda, coulda, woulda or how I'm supposed to think I'm supposed to do something. Just to trust and be. I know, I know I'm not alone. <laughs> I know that's most of your hearts cry, huh? And it's hard sometimes. Maybe she could pick up a skip a cup of up, skip it up to go up and get better. Okay, and dealing, you were also dealing with past abuses. So those are things that are healed for you. Um, I mean, you're just you're just telling me of. I mean, you're giving me praise report, right? You're telling me that that I nailed something there, huh? Through through the Holy Spirit. So now um, we're just continuing. Praying for you and family. Thank you for that praise report. That's cool. That's cool. So, um, yeah, you know, we, we had a prayer earlier, you know, and I was talking about, I'm just feeling it, you know. The, the enemy has so got a bullseye on the family units right now to try and get us to turn you know and we know in the scriptures it says brother will be against brother and you know all all that stuff um is that where we're at lord you know 
getting handed over to Satan. Um, so we really, we really do need to, uh, our discernment. Yeah, discernment. Thank you, Jesus. So I especially pray for Jacqueline and her family. Of course, we are all, we're all going to receive it. Amen. For discernment, Lord Jesus, against the accuser, try to turn us against each other, try and divide us up, try to weed us out, and pick us off one by one, and we do not receive that. We thank you, Lord Jesus. We thank you even during this festival of tabernacles that you call us together as family to celebrate you, to honor you, to worship you. And thank you, Lord Jesus. Thank you, Lord Jesus, that the ram was in the thicket so we don't have to crucify each other. We don't have to sacrifice each other. You provide. You provide, Lord Jesus, so that we can multiply as the stars of the heavens. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. I need to look up myelin sheath for more. I know it's, it's the protective coating. Very important, but it's like the Lord saying that's what He wants to put around families. Is that very protective co covering? So we just receive that, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus, that you protect us under the shadow of your wing. You preserve our families. You strengthen us. Thank you, Lord Jesus. That where one is weaker, we pick each other up in strength and unity. Thank you, Jesus for unity within the family. Thank you, Lord Jesus, that you were healing family woundings, family hurts. Disagreements. I'm not seeing eye to eye. I thank you, Lord Jesus, that you are filling. You are filling those things those spaces, those woundings, those pains, those hurts with your presence, Lord Jesus, with your healing balm, and you are making it all right. Thank you, Jesus, for eternal focus, that especially in the family group that we function as one, loving each other, holding each other up, and supporting each other. And you're also asking for to pray that you can continue to worship and give God what he needs. Amen. Amen. We're all agreeing on that one. As darkness advances, we will worship you. When it seems scary. And what will we do when those dark things fall? But we will cling to you and thank you and worship you, Lord Jesus. Thank you, Jesus, for your preservation of your chosen. Thank you, Lord. Hi, trying man. Do you have any prayer requests? <laughs> Thank you, James, that we may be one even as we are one. Amen. 
Mene do kine pa kona pa kere pa kete kire pa sambara to kine pa ka. Dreva matera pa kona. You know what? When I was praying uh, for the family, I started getting really sharp pains in my heart. That's why I was focusing on uh, on that stuff there. Mene do kine pa ka. Really, really was sharp. Like, feels like brambles in there, you know? There's a lot of um, healing um, that needs to happen for f especially the family unity stuff. A lot of letting go, just letting go. Let it go. Let it go, Lord Jesus. Let it go for the sake of, of your kingdom. Heal our hearts, Lord Jesus. We bind up offense in the mighty name of Jesus, misunderstandings in the mighty name of Jesus, misunderstandings in the context that the enemy would twist it to something wicked. We bind all that up in the mighty name of Jesus. We don't receive it. We command it to go to the footstool of Jesus Christ for judgment, and we receive your understanding, your peace, your righteousness. And what is your agape love? The greatest love for one another, because it's based in your heart. So we receive your heart, Lord Jesus, into our families. We receive your heart. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. I was just reading, um, Jackie wrote, the pain is immense and the attacks and our own issues. I would agree that it's on his heart to make it and never judge others anymore yeah all right any any other prayer requests come on get him in I do have a, a video I'm going to end with um, because that's what I need to focus on uh, who we are in Jesus Christ Conforming to his image, that's going to be a huge focus of mine. Um, I just really want to dive in to agreeing and aligning up with his word. You know, some, I mean, you can say things so much and say, yes, I'm this, because he said. But after a while, when you can believe it with the conviction it's because it's really in there. It's in there and it's coming out by evidence of fruit. And that's ultimately what I'm desiring is the fruit of the lip service. I want to see it coming out of me more. Um, you know, like with the praise reports, I want to, I want to be nailing things more on target uh, for him because I want to be really, I want to tune in. I want to hear him so badly um, because if I'm not being a conduit for him what am I being so all right well if we don't have any other prayer requests I will say God bless you guys and may I take your order <laughs> yeah oh you're silly church lady's going to come after you. <laughs> oh. So. I am going to turn this thing over. And say God bless you guys for the week. And... Um, 
Yeah, just remember to pray for me. I need your prayers.